Brian, Brian and Vini. I hear that song's a hit. Is that right? This was a can miss edition. Yes. Of AW Rampage. Uh, marquee matches? Not any. They sure like old daddy ass. And I am uh, uh, intrigued to see what happens for this DX reunion. I really think they're going to be singing for old daddy ass. I feel a hijacking coming on. In storyline, what is up with this Tony Khan bloke? Why the fuck is he not giving them a championship match? Don't know. Dax actually called out Tony Khan on an indie show. Yes, he did. Remember us? Wardlow is still the TNT champion, and Samoa Joe is still the Ring of Honor TV champion. So by now becoming a team, they have basically put these two singles belts on the shelf. I don't see this as a solution to any other problems. You are forced to choose one of the following superpowers. You can jump ridiculously high, but you are terrified of heights. (laughs) Or you you have x-ray vision, but it happens randomly, and you can't control when it turns on or off. Hmm. I will take the I'm scared of heights, but can jump ridiculously high, because some things you can't unsee. The ability to jump doesn't always take you high in the air okay sometimes you really a jump could take you out of being in a hole you're afraid of holes no but you ever watched uh bugs bunny and they put the they dig the hole they put the sticks over it you fucking sure. step you fall into the hole well now you're stuck or you fell down a well when was the last time you fell down a well so if i fell down a, i haven't fallen down a well but what if i did Vinny? yes that's granny on the phone everybody right when this show's about to start she unplugged her tie line apparently and we cannot get her to plug it back in. She's on First her. First time I ever moved the dumb thing, too. That was funnier than anything that will actually happen on the show. So I apologize to the viewers and listeners for being missed out on the best part of the show. What is Vince McMahon doing right now with his spare time? I'll tell you a couple of things that he's not going to be doing. One, beating up on a le- uh, one-legged man. Listening to the entire library of Brian's podcasts. It's come up a few times, but I, I don't think Vince is listening to a lot of my podcasts. He should. Perhaps he'd learn a thing or two. Maybe he'll sue you for this, for decimation of character. Decimation of character? (laughs) I am stealing that one. Or whatever you call it. (laughs) James Ryder says he is watching reruns of Dallas. Oh, God. We could quit this whole wrestling thing and go back and watch Dallas from the beginning. I mean, could it be any worse than uh, NWA World Championship Wrestling from the 80s? I think it's largely the same. We're going to watch uh, an episode of Dallas and then that week's NWA. <laughs> Just like do co- direct comparisons. Who's got the better storytelling, better characters? What angle happened this week? Bigger hair. Yeah. Man, this actually, this is, this is, a, this is tempting. Rhonda versus Natalia has head on rope, then she sits on it. <laughs> the rope or her head? <laughs> she on the rope or her head? Sammy goes outside ring, bangs him three times on the back out the apron. He said he was hoping the store would be open. That, But I say, Sheva, implore, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, dude, there's 50 shows talking about Sammy and Andrade. We don't need to talk about it here. If you want to know what happened, Observer Live today, I spent 10 straight minutes of monologue, everything that happened, all sides of the story. Go listen to that if you want to know what happened. We're not going to talk about it much on the show today. And I said I was going to talk about this, but the TMZ story, which you can probably figure out who planted that story. How in the world did that story come out on TMZ? At 7.30. And by 9... What was this? 9.20? Bro, Sammy says one word, and he got fucking thunderous booze. And by the end of the show, when he came out for the main event, he was the most hated guy in fucking Washington, D.C., which is a pretty impressive thing (laughs) when you think about it. I don't know where all this is going, but it still feels way, way, way too early for me for uh, MJ after the Bro, bro, don't be a mark. I don't buy for a second he's turning babyface. What I do believe is that he's going to work you, Marks Vinny, Mm -hmm. into thinking that he's considering doing the right thing. 
And then he's going to fucking punch out Regal with that ring. Jake Hager's back this week, and he's in the back, and with no mention of it, inexplicably, he's just wearing the purple bucket hat. And they talk about how you, you threw that hat down. <laughs> Suddenly, Hager just bellows at the top of his lungs, I like this hat! If she wasn't cleared, I don't think there's any physicality. Yeah. Because in WWE, if you're not cleared, there's zero physicality allowed. Zero. I mean, you can't throw punches. You can't. You can do nothing. And she was out there brawling. It is time for National Scissoring Day. <laughs> Fabulous. I'm sure it wasn't the first promo I've heard him cut, but it felt like the first promo I've heard Anthony Bowens cut. It was awesome. This fucking guy hit it out of the park. What a star. Yes. Oh, my God. It's great. This city represents division in our country, but we can all agree that everyone loves the acclaimed. No left, no right, no red, no blue, because everyone looks good in pink. You're a sweet kid, but you say a lot of stupid shit and your mouth gets you in trouble. But like a lot of kids around here, you say a lot of stupid shit. That's actually a good point. Which was, there was a reason he said that. I had not caught that, but you're right. Pretty Deadly come out for their address to the NXT Commonwealth. Oh, God. They have the powdered wigs, the pancake makeup. They stand beside you as two-time tag team champions, and there's teams in the training and the PC just to lay their eyes on the PD. <laughs> Apparently, they said mean things on Twitter pretty that they did, but they insist we were hacked. It was Kevin Nash. It was Kevin Patrick. It was Kevin Owens. Curse thy Kevin Owens! You know, on the uh, Figure 40 LA show with Lance Storm, he used to do a segment that he called uh, Teachable Moments. And now Andre Chase has stolen teachable moments. I see where you're going with this, all right? Yeah, so I thought, you know, maybe, maybe Lance needs to join Chase U. And since they don't like people to have the names that they had elsewhere, he could be Lance Dorm. No. This is a pain in my gut right now. I thought I'd try. Ilya Dragunov is the man. This, well, <laughs> tremendous. I, I gotta say that I hated it. Really? You want to know why? I don't understand. Because it was so fucking awesome. Ah, I see. There's tweets scrolling to the bottom of the screen about how great Grayson Waller is. Hey, Jared, can you put a uh, uh, a picture in picture of me when I'm talking as well? There we go. Because I want to make sure that I I also get a, a selfie of me, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna take by the way for my super followers here. I'm doing the Grayson Waller effect. I got a selfie, and I got a, a gimmick right there. Uh, the show as a whole was, again, much better than it was over the, most of the past year, but this felt like a three-hour show squeezed into two hours. 